it's fairly neat. Uh, it looks similar enough. Actually on this, because I've chosen dark blue, it stands out a lot better. I actually think it looks nicer in that one than this one. Because dark blue just looks better. So I'm going to edit that a bit, make it darker. And just fill it in. Actually on this one I've actually used a gradient, I don't know if you can see. Um, it's darker at the bottom, it's like radial gradient. It's sort of like, like a grey blue up top, then it goes dark blue. That, that actually looks quite nice I suppose. Um, I'll just leave it as dark blue in this one. Maybe make it a bit darker. Yeah, okay, that, that that's better. And then, you see we've got these construction lines. Um, so, we're going to just draw them in. They're not actual construction lines. Because we're not actually drawing this, as you might have noticed. Um, we're just like, getting through the model, pretend that we've drawn it. So you want to draw some straight ones. Hold down shift when you draw them. Uh, they will draw exactly straight at 90 degrees. Uh, you might want to click that. Make the color of them white. Should have done that first. Should check that first. Come on, what? I'm having three pixels. It sort of matches thickness of those lines. Maybe should be a bit thinner, maybe two or one even. But I'm just leaving them like that. And then you're gonna have some diagonal. You just do them like wherever you see fit. And the diagonal ones, you want them exactly 45 degrees. Give your old shift and drag it diagonally. They will make exactly 45 degree lines, and you want them all the same, or it looks really dodgy. And just to note, you also want all your lines on new layers, just as I've um, just noticed, because then you can't move them individually after you've done so and then I might screw things up a bit and why it isn't white I don't know I just change it to white should have stayed white but then just go line them up drag it across you want it right on the edge it's a 45 degree line okay and um, that's about it I suppose you just continue adding construction lines that, that's all there is about to it. Just put them where you think it looks good. Just here, look, I have like quite a few. One, like every vertice you can put them on, I suppose. Um, here, because there's a circle for the lid inside another circle, I've actually the inner circle like done, and instead the outer one. And then I have the outer one down here. But if you know what I mean. So you just play around with it, make it look how you like it. Possibly add some text because this was actually a title page for a school project that I was doing. Uh, I'm creating a teapot, so I chose blueprint because that's like creating. And I wrote teapot project, creating a teapot to describe me. Not that I describe myself as a blueprint, but it is just the design I chose to do it. Okay, and um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you want, um, just add lots of measurements, even. So you just draw them in. So you got one pixel line. I don't know how you want to do it, but. So you draw it down here, and then just tell them to. This is a bit rushed, but you could make this look like, really neat. The computer's going really slow because I'm filming, but, but if it decides to load today, then um, I'll be able to show you. Okay, and then you might just want to like, type, I don't know how wide have a spat of a teapot, say two, 20 millimeters. That's obviously huge at the moment, so I can make it two. So it's two or something. And then you can just rotate that. You probably want a different font. And you'll make that straight, but it's tutorial, so I've got to like speed up. Try millimeters, um, just drag it down, change it to white. I'll leave the font that is, I suppose, it sort of looks alright. Drag it into position, you'd have it there. So, say that's 20 millimeters, the spat, you'd want to, if you had the construction lines, it'd look a lot better 
probably should have done some of that on here, but it doesn't really matter. So thanks for watching anyway. Um, I hope you feel enlightened, possibly with the 3D tool, or if you just wonder how to make it like a blueprint style design, that's kind of nice. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, please like it. Is that the new YouTube thing? I don't know how they changed it. Like it slash five stars. Um, and me as a friend. If you want any troubles, um, just post, send me a PM or drop in a comment. I'll do my best to help. And thanks for all your feedback on my last video as well. Uh, I found that really helpful. It's really nice to get some feedback. So thanks anyway. Subscribe. See my next video.